Hey guys, it's me again. I wanted to talk to you under the title, We the People, and I am one of the people. <laughs> I wanted, so this is political, and uh, but I wanted to uh, talk to you about a lady I seen. I just caught her first name as Lauren. I don't know what state she represents. It was on Midas Touch which is a, a news um, outlet on YouTube. And it was, uh, it was Midas Touch, uh, Coach D, that's the person's name that was, uh, had the video up. And I'll try to put the link down below if you want to watch the video. But I was appalled that this woman who was a Senate candidate this is what she said. She said, uh, women, the worst, the worst thing that's ever happened in our history was for women ha to have the right to vote. Now, I was like, whoa, what's she talking about? So she says, because we, as women, we, evoke, we vote with emotion, okay? So if we see a pregnant immigrant, we go, oh, if we say see a, a a child immigrant, we're like, oh, oh my goodness! It's called empathy. If I'm saying it right, that we feel sorry for people that are in desperate situations or don't have what we have. We we feel for those people. But she's like saying, oh, no, you guys get too emotional, so you shouldn't be allowed to vote because you're going to vote for immigration when, uh, you know, you shouldn't, I guess. Because we shouldn't be, we shouldn't feel sorry for a pregnant woman. And she's a woman. I don't know if she has kids or not. But, yeah, when a pregnant woman has walked miles to try to get free, it makes you wonder what the hell's going on in their countries, you know? What are they doing to women? When there's little children with their mother trying to get free because she's trying to protect her children. That's all she's doing. And she's saying, well, you guys feel too sorry for those people, so you shouldn't be allowed to vote. Well, let me tell you, men vote with emotion too, but uh, I don't want to say which emotion they use to vote with. It's sure not this head, that's for sure. And they try to put women back in time. But yeah, she had the nerve to say that if we just went with husbands and landowners that were allowed to vote, that we would be in a better position than we are now that stuff like this would never happen. Husbands and landowners. Now, landowners put you in the mind of slavery. When you were a landowner back in the day, you could vote. And if you were a husband, usually by the time you turned a husband, you were 21, you could vote. So she's saying... We should just go back to that. Just let the husbands and the landowners vote. Well, you know, a lot of women own land now. And then, uh, you know, so what about them? But then she also said, um, which I thought, you know, these people, they say stuff, and then they're so ironic. Because she goes, and I'm talking as a woman that votes. Okay. If you feel so strongly that women uh, should not have the right to vote, then what the F are you voting for? You should stay your ass at home. You shouldn't even be on TV. You should be over there washing your, your man's ass or whatever you want to do and leave us alone. Don't be telling us that we shouldn't be allowed to vote just because you Want to stay home with your man and not vote? You rather for him to uh, have control over your life? That's up to you. That's what we call choices. 
We live in a country of freedom, of choices. But I was just so upset that she had that coming out of her mouth. And then to say, oh, well, I vote. I'm a voter. I'm a woman voter, so I can tell you. You know, that's just BS. There was another little thing on the Republican uh, news station, I think Fox or something, that were saying that too many single women, they vote Democrat. So women need to get married so they can vote Republican. Like, the only single women are white women that are going to marry white Republican men, okay? There's a lot of single women here, and we're of all colors. So why would you think that because we get married that all the men are going to be Republican? I, 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 the logic that these people come up with. And they had a, uh, you know, they had a chart saying, all oh, X amount of single women voted Democrat, you know. Well, if they were married, they would have went Republican. I mean, where did they even get this information from? You know, I think we need to call these people out. And I I appreciate Midas Touch for doing that. Uh, if you haven't seen Midas Touch, you should see it on YouTube. They bring out the crazies. They show you what crazies are out there. You know, and you may think, oh, well, you know, I don't see it. But they tell you about them. They show you these crazies and what they're doing. And we need to call these people out all the time. We just need to constantly call them out, put them out there on the spotlight so people can see what kind of people the Republican Party say, oh, yeah, come on over here. You could be with us. The worst thing that uh, has ever happened in America was women were given the right to vote, coming from a woman. And, of course, the guy that's interviewing her, he's like, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, that's right, mm-hmm. Don't let these women vote, mm-hmm. So, see, they the men don't have to say it. They got a woman to say it. So when shit happens, they can say, well, she's the one that said it, not us. We, Oh, we didn't say that. She said it. She was the one that was talking about women should have. She should know she's a woman and she votes. Oh, she votes. Well, why does she vote? I don't know. Uh, but I just thought I'd bring it to your attention. We need to uh, stand up. Like I said, women, we need to fight for this because they want to push us back as much as they can. And you got women like this, this Lauren, who's a MAGA Senate uh, candidate, who wants to sprue stuff out of her mouth like this, like from the 1700s, you know, 1600s, you know. So I say to people like that, you need to go back to your country. Or whatever country that is, you need to get the hell out of America because we don't need your kind here. Spruing stuff like that. Talking crap like that. But anyway, it's just me with these thoughts in my head after I see it on the news. It's a fact. And we need to call them out. So until I see something else that I think you guys should hear about, I'll talk to you later, alligator. Bye.